In now for the fifth race, they're moving up. Corleone goes in. Tate favourite nine, Wusthazen, 2.40. And is the on track favourite of 175. Now Uptown Rock coming up. Sparkling miss waiting her turn. And a bit shorter on Tate Morris, on the track Morris at one dollar seventy-five. Open one seventy now, one seventy-five. Was Tazen. Uh, second elect is Jasper's Magic at four forty. Sparkling misses five fifty into five. And then we go up to ten dollars, about above us, and I'm calling a bit of specking the six done given. He's better drawn today than at his first race start here. He's twenty-one to fifteen, but still twenty-three on the tote. So the last few loading now. First leg of the quadrilla coming up. Mossides goes in. War Robe and Land of Far will complete the line. Wustazen ran well here two weeks ago at this distance behind Hopfgarten. They ran good time in that race. Land of Far goes up. And now we're set to jump in race five. They're in starter's hands, 1,200 metres. And they're a well-behaved lot. So they should dispatch any tick of the clock. There's the light. Gates open. They're racing. Above us began well with Wrecker, who and I'm Corleone. Done given fourth away, then Olympic Queen, followed by Mossites and Jasper's Magic. Drifting back uptown, Rock was tased in the second half of the field and a bit wider. War Robe even deeper, then Sparkling Miss, and Landafar drops out last. Down the side towards the 800. I'm Corleone shading above us. Striding to the pair was Mossites. Wrecker, who eased back to fourth. Done given fifth offence. They're followed then by Jasper's Magic midfield outside of Olympic Queen. Sparkling Miss near the rail. Wustays in fourth last. Seven lengths off the lead in the last trio. War Robe, Uptown Rock and Land of Far. Ten lengths span them around the bend. 4.50 left to run. I'm Corleone straightens in front narrowly from above us. Then came Mossites. Dungiven was hard ridden. Sparkling Miss. She bursts into the clear. Comes with a good sprinter. And down the outside Jasper's Magic and Wustays in her. I'm Corleone in front. Still a leader below the 200 metres. Sparkling Miss is trying out on the outside. I'd say she's got them. Yes, Sparkling Miss burst away and is too good. First run in Queensland. Sparkling Miss first. Second, I'm Corleone. Photo finished third. Jasper's Magic or Dungiven. Wustazen didn't come on well enough. Then Land of Far. Mossites, War Robe, Uptown Rock. Olympic Queen, Rekahu, and above us is last. Winner is Sparkling Miss, number 14. Beat them easily at the end. Wasn't the best away, but to kept improving to the inside and went after I'm Corleone halfway up the straight and then dashed clear to win well. 14, Sparkling Miss, the winner. Second will be I'm Corleone. Jasper's Magic will be third and Done Given will be fourth. So the result, 14, Sparkling Miss, Larry Cassidy first. Two second, I'm Corleone, Ashley Butler. Third was eight, Jasper's Magic, Michael Carl. And fourth was six, Done Given. And the favourite was Taser number nine, has to be content with fifth. He got back and was wide, but he didn't really ping to the line. He might be looking for further. But Sparkling Miss, she's made a sparkling debut here in Queensland. She's only had the one start prior to today. And that was at Balaclava earlier this year in South Australia. She's by Artie Schiller out of Akiva, bred and raced by the Colbert family, trained by Jason McLaughlin and ridden by Larry Cassidy. Not to like about that win, it was only a maiden, but she picked up well and won by a fair margin. Second, I'm Corleone by Bernardini for the Ma family and Ashley Butler. 
and third. Going to Jasper's Magic by Magic Albert for Rob Heathcote and Michael Carl. Now, Toad Dividends, a semaphore on the fifth race. With a 14 sparkling miss, 860 and 230. Two arm Corleone, 230. Eight Jasper's Magic, 180. Quinella, 3610. Exacta, $60.10. Trifecta, 14, 2 and 8. 287.20. And the first four, 14, 2, 8 and 6, 2,615.60. Sparkling miss at $5. I'm Corleone at 9. Jasper's Magic, 440. They're the starting price returns. Time was 111.7, the sprint home 34.8, so there wasn't much pace on early. 36.9, the first 600 metres. Home in 34.8, two and a quarter lengths by three quarters. So that even adds further merit to the win because the leaders were certainly advantaged. There was such a, a, a lacklustre tempo, so she's overcome a, a pace bias and won well. Good performance. Now, race six, Sequalo at Lindhurst Phillies, a mare's class three, due at 3.53. In race six, there are no scratchings and no riding changes. We'll stand by now for weight on the fifth.